Hello everyone, Evelyn here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back um, if you've been here before. Uh, today I wanted to show you um, an art project that I finished um, halfway through last month. Um, it was the 100 day challenge and um, I heard about it about two days before the official start date and I decided to push it a little bit further so I could start on day 100 and end on day 200 uh, and that was on the 19th of July. Um, if you followed me on Instagram you will have seen my daily updates. Um, but today I just wanted to get you a flip through of uh, my little book. Uh, this is the little um, book that I used. Um, I had used this before for an art project and uh, it was just sitting in a drawer and I wasn't really using it and I thought this would be perfect because it's small um, I can easily have this um, uh, beside beside me when I, where I sit up on the sofa it'd be a nice little compact little project and I can keep up with that for a uh, hundred days um, the supplies that I used uh, were, uh, when I first started out, I used the Koi watercolours. I've got this set. Um, and it served me really, really well. Um, uh, this was the first time I was really using these. And I really enjoyed them. Um, they're not the most amazing quality, but yeah, they, they did really well. And I, yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed them. Um, as the dirty palette will, <laughs> will prove um, yeah uh, but then after a couple of days and I'll show you that as well I started using my um, Neo Color 2s um, these for those who don't know are um, crayons they're water soluble so you can either uh, write and then use water to activate the colour or, uh, and that's what I've been doing a lot, uh, take a brush and I use uh, a water brush where the barrel is filled with water and you just squeeze it to uh, take some of the, I'll do it like this, take some of the pigment off and then paint. And that worked really, really well and um, yeah, I ended up with quite the dirty lid. But, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed that. Um, what I also used, I used up a whole uh, um, glue stick, was another brand, I think it was a big one. Thankfully, I still had one. Uh, I don't know what this is, like a cheapy, I think it might even be Poundland, I don't know. Uh, like a cheapy glue stick, it worked really well. Um, and I also used my uh, very sharp embroidery uh, scissors. Um, they're a bit gunky because I've cut tape with them, but last time I tried to uh, clean them after I'd done that, I cut myself. So <laughs> I'm being very, very careful this time. But uh, I got these uh, last year as part of my Christmas present. Uh, because I wanted a very sharp, uh, small, sharp pair of scissors to cut washi tape. And they're brilliant for that. But it turned out they were brilliant for cutting paper as well. So there we are. Um, a flip through. <laughs> and like I said, if you've seen my Instagram, you would have seen this uh, already. But it's nice to see them all after each other. Um, right, so um, the stuff that I had already used, and this was for a um, workshop that I did for Romani's uh, Realm years ago. I think it might have been 2012? 2013? 2013, summer of 2013, I think. Um, yeah, so... This is the first page, and I showed that on the day before. I posted that on uh, Instagram just to make sure that I wouldn't back out. 
and that's when I started. Um, my first one was just a, a ripped out paper with my Koh-i-Noor paint. Um, and then I thought, no, I'm going to do something better than that. And I'm going to use, oh, I haven't got my stencils here. But you know what stencils look like. Um, so then I started using stencils. And you'll see a lot of dots throughout all this. Dots and stripes. Uh, I painted some of the paper ahead of time so I had some patterned paper to work with. Um, I really like this one. Um, some of them took me literally five minutes and others took me a little bit longer because you have to draw out all your paper and you have to cut them all out. and. So yeah, this is when I started doing a little bit of, like a, a proper pattern. My um, uh, project was 100 days of colours and patterns. Uh, the good thing about this challenge is that you can set your own, uh, your own title, your own description, uh, whatever you want to do. I've seen people make quilts, I've seen people do uh, um, really elaborate, uh, uh, collage I've seen some um, someone did um, crocheted baubles for Christmas and I think she did three a day uh, and she's selling them if I can remember who that is I will find a link um, this was Easter so Easter Sunday, Easter Monday this was just a uh, really like a, a trying out all my colours then I did some shapes I really like this one this was when it was King's Day in Holland as uh, most of you know I am Dutch though living in the UK um, orange is the Dutch national colour and um, the Dutch King's birthday uh, was celebrated and um, yeah so I made a little crown in orange some more shapes I do like this sort of pattern uh, oh this is um, in Holland on uh, the 4th of May in the evening is when we have our Memorial Day. Um, so at 8 o'clock uh, you have a one minute uh, silence or two minutes. And um, yeah, so that's that day. Some more patterns. And this is just the um, Koi watercolours. Some more Koi. <clears throat> and this is when I started using the uh, Neo. Uh, what are they? Neo Colour water soluble crayons um, this is where I was holding a crayon to get the um, um, pigment off and I just messed it up but never mind never mind uh, so yeah and then I started combining uh, the pattern paper or the paper that I'd already uh, colored with um, the Koi watercolours. This is when uh, Holland won the Eurovision Song Contest. And uh, yeah, so next year it's going to be in Holland. And everyone's really, really excited, even though we have, they haven't picked a city yet where it's going to be held. So we don't know yet. <laughs> I really, really like this page. This was quite um, uh, like a meditation I put the uh, paper down first and then I sort of um, weaved the colours 
So some of them are under, some of them are over, under, over, under, over. I did mess up here and there, but don't look too close. I started doing more like these sort of patterns because they're quick. Um, sometimes I would sit and watch telly and do it. Uh, often it was in the evening after dinner, letting my dinner go down. It was the perfect time to uh, just quickly grab my book and uh, do some art. And I, I really enjoyed it. I really like this page. And this one. Oh, and I like this one as well. This just sort of happened. I wanted to put a, a triangle and then I had so much left over I thought, Oh, I can do another one. <laughs> so I hadn't even planned that, but it just sort of happened. I really enjoyed doing this kind of work. And um, my uh, idea behind it was like, okay, so it's not like high art. It's not something I would print off and hang on my wall. But it's, it's something, and um, it was more like a presence over perfect kind of thing um and just the um the act of sitting down and doing a little bit of art every day uh yeah that and then um also like the more you do it uh the oh i can't really my, my words aren't working today <laughs> Um, the collection of it all, like, you know, one would be, mm, okay, that's just some blue dots, but because they're in a collection, it, it makes more sense, it just, it works. But I really liked doing, filling these pages with dots. See, this is where the crayons sort of transferred a bit, but... Like I said, some pages were very, very simple because I didn't have a lot of time. And some of them are a bit more elaborate. But most of them, like I said, didn't take longer than 10, 15 minutes. And that was the whole idea, just uh, something small that I would be able to keep up and uh, and not get bored with it as well. And I didn't. There was never a time where I said, like, oh, I don't know what to do today. Um, because I used uh, the stencils and the uh, paint or the um, neo colours, um, sometimes I, I really didn't know what I was going to be doing before I put, like, I, I took my book out and started doing it. Um, there was never really much of a plan, um, except for... Uh, like I said, the uh, Easter ones and the um, co uh, Queen, uh, sorry, Holland has had a king now for a couple of years, but before that it's had a queen, so people still get confused, I still get confused. King's Day, <laughs> so for King's Day, that one I had thought about before I started doing it, but most of the other ones were just sitting down and doing it and see what happens and the stencils sort of restricted me but at the same time um, made it easier to do and I just kept with the same shapes the circles the um, triangles And then I started doing this, and I really liked it. But every point, or this one going down, every corner, I would drop down the colour. And then I started doing the up ones as well. Like, um, you'll see me doing that a lot more, filling a page. This took longer than I expected, but it was a lot of fun. 
and this one, see, uh, all um, that that corner, the right one, uh, oh sorry, the left one at the bottom, they all have orange, and then all the um, all the right ones all have green, and so forth and so forth. But sometimes um, it would pass through. So yeah, that was I, I enjoyed doing stuff like that. And I started doing it more and more. <laughs> and I really liked this colour combination. Like the blues are really nice in that uh, Neo colour set. And then I start going round. And this is more like a folklore kind of colours. More lines. Now we come to the end. Look. 97, 98. I was so glad that I numbered the, pic the uh, pages so I knew what to do <laughs> on Instagram. Uh, and then this was my last one. My sun or star or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I was so proud of myself that I'd done it for a hundred days. And not only that, I posted it every single day. Um, there was one day, and I can't, I don't remember which day that was, but one day when we weren't home, so I did a page in advance, and I took the picture, but I posted it on the day that it was meant to go up. So yeah, that was it. Um, I've still got quite a couple of pages left in my book, and I don't know what to do with them. I am sort of tempted to do um, Inktober but at the same time I'm a bit scared to commit <laughs> I haven't really drawn in a long time so I need to uh, get back on that horse and um, get my drawing skills up again and then I have to decide on what to do and uh, because this was a this was a success because it was quick it was easy um, it was a simple challenge uh, for me um, and that's why it worked so when I do decide to do Inktober and I'm not committing it to it right now it needs to be something simple and yeah not too complicated so I'm not sure um, but yeah anyway <laughs> that was it for me for this little challenge um, and I'm so glad that I uh, use this book again because it's a nice little I got it from Asda and which is a supermarket here in the UK um, oh, don't you love this? Um, but I haven't seen it since so I can't really get and it doesn't really tell you anything um, I've got the band that was around it eco grey leather if you look for eco grey leather you find all kinds but not this book so i don't know um but yes i will i will have a very very good think about what to do with the rest of this book and um i'm i'm sure i will let you know <laughs> Thank you very very much for watching thank you for all your support on instagram it was lovely to see all those likes every day it really kept me going and um, yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again very soon bye